gon' give it to ya Fuck way for you to get it on your own X gon' deliver to ya What's up nerds, welcome back uh, Today I'm going over Anary Tree Post Order Traversal If you guys haven't already subscribed Join my Slack channel, the invite link is in the description below So I've already done the pre-order traversal version of this one So I'm gonna post the link up here um, To watch that one first probably and so post order they just want us given an nary tree return the post order traversal of its nodes values so first we just need to know what post order is the way i think of pre um pre and post is so when you're going through the for pre when you pass it on the left side you add it so pre would be one three five six two four for post it's when you pass it on the right side so when you pass the node over here so one's gonna be the last one, five's gonna be the first, cause we pass five on the right side first, and then it's gonna be five, six, three, two, four, one. So let's see, yeah, five, six, three, two, four, one. And here's just another problem that was just a lot longer, I'm not gonna go through that. So I'm gonna go over iteratively and uh, recursively first, they, cause they want us to do it iteratively. Recursive is shorter. Um, you don't have to use a data structure to do it recursively, so uh, that's why they want you to do it iteratively. But first, let's go over it recursively. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a list because that's what we're going to want to return. You can use a linked list. I'm using an array list. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just different interfaces. So list equals new array list. And I'm going to use a helper function for recursive. So this is pretty common with recursion. You use a helper function. So let's just return helper and pass in root and list. So now let's create our helper function. So uh, we know we're already gonna return list because we're returning it here. We need to return list. So public list integer and helper. Then we're just passing it node root and array list. And that's supposed to be integer list. Yeah, I gotta spell it right though. Okay, let me scroll over. And my code. Okay, so here's our function. Um, so now uh, we don't need a, a data structure because we're using recursion to pass it into the list. So we don't need like a, a stack or a queue or anything. So we already have our list. So let's just check if root equals null, and we're going to return list. And so for this one, we don't want to add. Uh, the root first we want to add the children the very bottom children first so let's not add it first um so we're gonna loop through jesus my trackpad's all messed up so i believe this is so let's ch no child let's go through the children and root dot children so we're going to um just call the helper function, pass in child and list. And then we're going to add it to the list because we want to get to the bottom first. This is going to get to the bottom first because we're calling, um, we're passing in root and grabbing the children. And then we're calling the, the helper function for this one on all of its children. So it's going to go down here. And then when it returns null, we're going to return list and where it's going to pop out, add, add it. So we're going to add it right here at node root actually we, it needs to be root dot val because remember we have integers so that's how that's going to work and i believe we just need to return list and i feel like i'm missing something yep uh integer oh i spelled integer wrong oh that works so it's such short code that it feels like you're missing something, but I wasn't. So, um, yeah, that's it for uh, recursion. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the recursive version. Um, so, or not the recursive. I'm sorry, the iterative. Um, so for this one, we're going to obviously going to need to use a data structure. So before we start coding, let's figure out what data structure we want to use. Um, we're gonna have to use it to add it to the list. So the first thing we could do is just initialize our list. So if we do array list, and this is gonna be storing our integers, list equals new array list. 
Okay, so now let's figure out what data structure. Let's look at the tree. Um, so posts we're doing, we see that one is the very last one. So um, obviously we have to add it to the data structure down here first. Um, so let's add it. I should have put it on the other side. So this is the, the front back. So we're going to just want to obviously, well not obviously, we're going to want to um, have one in the back. So if we can do that, how, how can we put one in the back if we do um, list that add first for every node? That means one's going to be in the back because we're going to keep inserting stuff into the front. And so this is going to end up in the back at the end. So um, we know we need to do that. But when we add the children, so this got popped off. We're going to add the children. So three, two, four. Um, we see here that four is the next one. So four is in the back. So we can do um, remove it from the back. So um, I used a deck. You could use a stack again. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to just use a deck. It has a linked list interface. Um, this is actually supposed to be a linked list because we're doing add first. So you can't add first to an array list. So that was my mistake. Caught that. We use a uh, array list in the last problem, I think, for pre. So I'm going to use a deck. And this is going to contain the nodes. So let's just call it deck equals. So this has a linked list interface. So there we go. Because it's a, a combination of a queue and a stack. And so then let's just do the base case again. If root equals null, we just return the list. You can see my code, perfect. And so the first thing we want to do is add, um, so this is our deck. So we were adding it, we we're just adding it to the, adding it normally. Um, you don't have to add dot back, it's just add. So deck dot add root. And now let's loop through. We're gonna empty the deck and add them in. So while it's not empty, um, we're going to, we're, we were pulling from the back because we need to, the next one up is four. So we wanna pull it from the back and insert it into the front. So uh, node, node equals deck dot, uh, remove last, yeah, remove last. Okay, so now it's stored in node, four stored in node. Let's add it to the front. Um, so this dot add first. So it's in uh, front of four. So we just pop this off four. There we go. And um, and now we're gonna loop through the children. So for node child in node.children, we just want to um, add it to the deck, all, add all the children to the deck. So this is gonna be in the correct order, add child. And then we just want to return the list. So it's not that, um, Complicated, you just need to know the correct order and which data structure to use. So let's just go over this. So we popped off four, inserted it into the list. Um, the next thing is, so we we added the children of one. So we pop four. Um, so we're gonna pop two. Oops. Add two. And then we're gonna pop three and add it. So we're right here, add first. And we're going to loop through the children of three. So we're going to add five and then six. And then we're going to pop off six and then five. So this is our answer. It's um, in the right order. So that's all you had to do. So that's iterative and recursively. And then let me submit it. And then we'll go over the runtime and space complexity. My trackpad is just terrible. Oh, I have to add the value. I always forget that stuff. Okay, there you have it. So uh, we're looping through all the nodes. So we're gonna have ovent space complexity 
and or not space complexity um, running time because we're, we're looping through all the nodes and then we could also have add all the nodes into the deck depending on how the tree is built if it's all one-sided um, it's all going to be or if it's all run across even um, it's it's going to have n nodes in the deck at once so o of n space complexity and o of n runtime and that's all you guys need to know for this problem um, if this video helps, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.